Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. For today's adventure, we are on our way to a place called Walnut Canyon. What it is, is, this is my guess, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it's like a cave that they found that had a whole heap of Native American Indian ruins kind of wrapped around it. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see. Last night was a pretty interesting night. We spent our first night in a McDonald's car park. We're pretty much just going to go there to use the Wi-Fi and relax there for a bit, but it ended up turning into the whole night. And it was pretty good. No one really said anything. There was no sign saying we couldn't park there. So we just didn't feel as guilty this morning when we went in and had a little bit of Macca's breakfast. You know, because you've got to pay back the Wi-Fi that you've used all night. So, yeah. Lyrics pumped, well, this is looking beautiful, and I'm ready to see the walnut cabin. Let's see what it looks like. Lyric, what on earth <laughs> is inhabited your body? Take it uh, excellent. Yeah, you can't, you can't. All right, here we go, let's see if we can get this sucker on. Yeah, yeah, let's loosen those straps up. Probably I'm, maybe, you might. No, that's quite all right. You have a chip or you need it loosened? This is good for me for your area. Six days. Go. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you ever want to know what I'm going to do next, I'll show you the next. You have a good time, you know. Thank you so much for that. That's awesome. It's very, very kind of you. Yeah, you know, it's a godsend because. You know, yeah, even if you're kind of a strong guy like really you, good. that little kid gets really heavy. Yeah, she's right squirmy now. too, so. We've been thinking about getting one anyways. How do you feel? Huh? This is the, um, you probably can't see it, but like, all through the like caves of this canyon, they've built all their little homes. They've just built structures through it all. And man it is mental i don't know how the heck they would have climbed up to get back into them but they loved these sorts of areas because of the fact that it always had like running water plenty of ground space for farming and um just like a lot of like caves so they've already got like structures they just needed to build walls in front of it it also had like a special type of vegetation around this area, like certain things that they liked using for ceremonial purposes and man, a canyon. There's a lot that you can find in a canyon. Such a cool design when you look at the layout of how they actually did things. It says here that they had like animal skin covering the door and then they'd leave a little hole down the bottom that allow the wind to come in and blow all the smoke out of the hole that they left at the top. Such an awesome design, hey? This is crazy. I can't help but think what this would have looked like. Like just seeing like all these American Indians climbing up around the little houses here and like farming in the like valley below and in the rivers and man like I don't know if you can see it but all through the canyon here is these little shelters that they built. Well, 
that was absolutely freaking unreal. I feel like I would have come down to Arizona just to see that because that was the most incredible Native American Indian cultural experience I've ever been through. It's funny, hey, like growing up, I've always wanted to see and learn a little bit more about Native American Indians and I got to do it. So good. I love it. I love the like layout that they had. It looks so, um, Ah, there's something super mysterious about it that I love. They're such a mysterious people, hey? And also, that's a bit of Alyssa's... Yeah, that's that's a little bit of your um, heritage, eh? It's Native American Indian. Just a little bit, but a little bit counts. So, Lyric, that means you've got a little bit of Native American... I didn't even think of that. I've got an almost a little bit Native American Indian daughter. Lyric, how the flip do you feel about that? That was awesome. Definitely a must see. What's it called? Walnut Canyon. Walnut Canyon is a must see if in Arizona. Must see. Gotta see it. Go see it. And we saw a sign for the meteor crater. Yeah. And we decided to come check it out. Yeah. It's along the way. Yep. guys to come out here and discover this and yeah. like start studying figuring out what happened. Unbelievable. The meteor was traveling so fast that it would have been seen in New York City five minutes after it was seen flying across Paris. So Paris, five minutes later, New York City, three minutes later, it touched down in Arizona, which is where we are. I was expecting there to be a, a car park and a viewing platform here, but instead there's like a... It's like a whole like discovery, like science <laughs> center yeah. created around it. Yeah. Visitor center. 20 bucks a pop. 20 bucks per person. A little steep, but I guess it's pretty incredible, so we might as well just enjoy it. So yeah, we're in a little cinema now. We're just about to watch a 10 minute movie. It's gonna be enthralling. A 10 minute asteroid movie. I think movie. it should be interesting, hopefully. It'll definitely be interesting. But I can't believe there's a mini movie theater out here on the top yeah, of a crate. 20 bucks person, there better be something. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Ah! It's the 4th of July and we're sitting on a picnic table. All in... <laughs> by ourselves, just the three of us. In Holbrook. Yeah. And but we've got three kind of like, I don't know, two or three shows going on at the same time, but it's very... Shows. Like, yeah, it's very like sparse and scarce, very like in between. By shows she means... The fireworks most, shows. Like some little kids letting off fireworks <laughs> in his backyard. That's the show. No, the city of about. Holbrook is supposed to be. That's supposed to be in this direction, but they're taking like five minutes in between every <laughs> firework, and then we've got one over here and one over there. <laughs> so tell us about the Fourth of July, Lissy. What's the deal with it? I don't get it. It's Independence Day. 
the, the day, day that you became the day that America independent. became independent of England in uh, in year 1776. <laughs> 1776. Yeah, that's <laughs> when the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. It was signed just like that with a pen. Someone it's said there is freedom like, of yeah. independence. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Lyric, you may not understand what the flip is going on right now, but this is the first time. Listen, that you she's got her patriotism right here. <laughs> this is technically the first time they that you ever got to experience the, the fact that your independence is being celebrated. Uh, I'm trying to point you in the direction of where there's um, fireworks. There's nothing going on at the moment. <laughs> but we're pretty much just sitting the last at a picnic one was like table. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> just enjoying each other's presence. Guns. <laughs> Fireworks. Happy 4th of July! Bye!